Song Junki was acquitted. Song Haikyo, after the breakup, didn't become friends. Song Junki found himself at the center of controversy after rumors of being center-oriented and competing with his co-stars in a new film. This is in contrast to Song Haikyo's perspective, who believes that once she's broken up with someone, there's no reason to remain friends. These are the two main topics we'll discuss in today's video. Don't forget to leave your comments below the video to share your opinions. Recently, Song Junki's unfriendly attitude and alleged ambition to be the center of attention among his co-stars have garnered significant attention from the audience. Specifically, a video from the press conference of the movie Hopeless at the Cannes Film Festival 2023 showed Song Junki intentionally trying to secure the central spot among his co-stars, including the female lead, Hong Sabin. However, fans of the actor have recently presented evidence supporting Song Junki's actions, suggesting that he was merely trying to assist his co-star. It's worth noting that Song Junki was initially called on stage by the MC before the director and the remaining cast members. In the world of Korean film crews, there is an unwritten rule that the MC is the focal point, and being closer to the MC often corresponds to a more significant role in the film because it facilitates communication with the host. Therefore, in the case of Hopeless, the director and the main actor, Hong Sabin, would naturally stand closer to the MC for easy sharing and answering of questions. Song Junki is well aware of this rule, which is why he pulled Hong Sabin towards the MC as an act of helping a junior, without any intention of competing for attention, winning or losing, or desiring the center stage, as some negative opinions circulated on social media. Additionally, the actress BB in Hopeless is not the female lead, so there is no scenario where Song Junki deliberately splits the spotlight between the male and female leads on the can red carpet. Furthermore, Song Junki has often made gestures to give the central spot to his co-stars during photo shoots. Although this sharing is a bit old, it seems relevant to Song Haikyo's current situation. Even though she divorced Song Junki a while ago, they are still frequently compared. Song Haikyo has had relationships with handsome actors like Lee byung Han and Hyun Bin, but she hasn't found the right man yet. However, she has declared that she will never be friends with her ex-lovers. In a recent interview with W Magazine, South Korean version, the 35-year-old actress, Song Haikyo, openly shared her views on love, marriage, and relationships. She maintains an optimistic perspective on love, stating, I always give my all in a relationship, and if it ends, I don't look back. She explained that when she puts in her best effort, there is no room for regret. The lead actress of the highly popular 2016 drama Descendants of the Sun wonders why some couples who were once married can become good friends after divorce. For her, this will never happen. Even if you love your boyfriend very much, when you break up, he won't be any better than the neighbor, Mr. Kim. At least Mr. Kim from next door can come over and help when needed, but your ex-boyfriend won't, Song Haikyo explained. Regarding marriage, the timeless beauty of the Korean screen admitted to feeling pressured by the idea, especially since most people her age are already married and even have children. In her case, meeting potential husbands is very limited. This becomes even more challenging because she is particular about getting to know and judging a stranger. Additionally, Negative information from couples she knows has left her feeling somewhat lost and without romantic thoughts about marriage. After the hit drama Descendants of the Sun ended, Song Haikyo and co-star Song Junki were rumored to be in a real romance. Many media outlets captured intimate moments between them, as well as gestures of care from afar, such as Song Haikyo sending coffee to the film set for her junior. Although Song Junki is four years younger than Song Haikyo. They had great on-screen chemistry. Previously, Song Haikyo had a brief romantic involvement with actor Lee byung Hun when they starred together in the 2003 film All In. Despite lasting only a year, their relationship attracted considerable media attention. Learning from her experiences, in her subsequent relationship with Hyun Bin five years later, Song Haikyo was more cautious. The two were rarely seen together and consistently declined to answer questions about their relationship in the media. Nevertheless, this relationship also did not last long, as they announced their breakup when Hyun Bin enlisted in the military in 2011. 
the end of Song Haikyo and Song Junki, moving on with different views on post-breakup relationships. The world of Korean entertainment was rocked when one of its most beloved couples, Song Haikyo and Song Junki, announced their divorce in 2019. Their love story had been a fairy tale come true, with fans eagerly following their journey from on-screen chemistry in the hit drama Descendants of the Sun to a real-life wedding ceremony. However, as quickly as they had fallen in love, they decided to part ways, leaving many to wonder how their post-breakup relationship would unfold. While Song Haikyo and Song Joon-ki both moved on with their lives separately, their approaches to post-breakup relationships have been strikingly different, as per Song Haikyo's perspective. In a recent interview with W Magazine, Song Haikyo made her stance clear, she doesn't believe in staying friends with her ex-lovers. For Song Haikyo, once a romantic relationship ends, there's no turning back or salvaging a friendship. She believes in giving her all to a relationship while it lasts, and if it doesn't work out, there's no reason to revisit the past. Her uncompromising view on this matter has been evident in her post-divorce life. On the other hand, Song Joon-ki has chosen a more amicable path. Despite the initial controversy and rumors surrounding their breakup, he has been seen extending gestures of support and kindness towards Song Haikyo. Some even speculated a possible reconciliation, but that notion was quickly dispelled. Song Joon-ki's actions have demonstrated a more flexible approach to post-breakup relationships. He appears willing to maintain a cordial and respectful connection with his former spouse, at least in the public eye. Whether this is driven by a desire for closure, a wish to avoid any negative publicity, or genuine goodwill towards Song Haikyo remains a matter of speculation. It's worth noting that Song Haikyo and Song Junki have moved on in their personal lives. Song Haikyo has been romantically linked with other celebrities, and Song Junki has continued to thrive in his acting career. The two have clearly chosen different paths when it comes to their post-divorce relationships. Their differing perspectives on this matter serve as a reminder that there is no one-size-fits-all approach to dealing with the aftermath of a breakup. People cope with heartbreak and separation in their own ways, guided by their personal beliefs, experiences, and emotions. While Song Haikyo and Song Junki's post-divorce journeys have taken divergent routes, they remain two prominent figures in the world of Korean entertainment, each following their own path towards happiness and fulfillment. In conclusion, the end of Song Haikyo and Song Junki's marriage marked the beginning of separate journeys for the two stars. Song Haikyo's unwavering stance on not remaining friends with ex-lovers contrasts with Song Junki's more amicable approach. Their different perspectives on post-breakup relationships serve as a testament to the diverse ways people navigate the complexities of love and separation in the public eye.